Good morning and welcome to our update. It's Thursday today and we have a few things to share with you. Firstly, I wonder how you're feeling right now. I don't mind admitting that I'm feeling a little bit disappointed this week, a bit sad, uh, because this is normally one of the busiest weeks for us as we prepare for our youth weekend away. Normally there are about 80 of us heading up to the YMCA on the shores of Lake Windermere. It's beautiful and we love it. We have an absolutely fantastic weekend. It's fun, it's amazing, and we've known God's presence there in such unbelievable ways. But of course this year that can't happen and we can't go. And yeah, I feel really frustrated about that. I'm a bit disappointed this week. And sometimes it's easy, isn't it, to think that God doesn't really notice and he doesn't really care and he's off being very busy with other very important things. But Actually, the Bible tells us completely differently. I'm going to read to you from Hebrews chapter 4, verses 15 and 16, and I'm going to read it in the message translation. It says, Now that we know what we have, Jesus, this great high priest with ready access to God, let's not let it slip through our fingers. We don't have a priest who's out of touch with our reality. He's been through weakness and testing, experienced it all, all but the sin. So let's walk right up to him and get what he is so ready to give. Take the mercy, accept the help. God has been human. He's experienced all the sadnesses, all the disappointments, so he knows what it feels like. And he's definitely not too busy to notice. He does understand he has been there. This verse tells us that we can walk right up to him, however we're feeling. We can be honest with him and accept the help and the love that he so wants to give to us. And just a couple of extra things to remind you of this morning. Firstly, we are gathering this Sunday in church. It's Cap Sunday and we have the opportunity to hear again from Linda about how we can support this amazing organisation as it seeks to help those who are struggling in our local area with debt. This is such a current and important issue. And if you would like, then you can take the opportunity this weekend to give towards this work. All the information you need about how to give will be available on Sunday and also in the email updates. You can also book in for our Sunday services now. There is space. We did ask people who came last week just to hang on till the end of the week uh, before you book. But there are spaces, so go for it. We would love to see you. Following on from this Sunday, the 1st of November, that will be a communion service. So this is just a quick early reminder that we'll be taking communion in our homes and in church. So if you're joining us online, then just make sure that you've got your bread and juice ready so you can be part of that as well. Please do keep in touch with us. If you need help with anything or you would like prayer for anything, then please let us know. Just get in touch with the staff team. So have a great day and we are looking forward to seeing you very soon.